Facebook business page marketing tip. You have your Facebook business page to give value and build those extra relations with your clients and obviously build more. Now, you might not have noticed that Facebook now have an RSS feed on their business pages. Now, I'll explain to you what that means. If you see at the top of the address to this page, it has a normal address, and then there's this little orange box. What that little orange box means is if somebody decides to click that, they can subscribe to your page and get updates of the valuable content you put on your Facebook page. Now, if I scroll down further here, you will see there's another box here that says Get Updates via RSS. Now, I will show you exactly if a member of the public, etc., click this box, what they would see. Here, they've clicked the box. Then you can see the little orange box again. And now they can choose to subscribe to your page. And there it says they can get the information through Google Reader, iGoogle, Bloglines, my Yahoo. Um, so that will give them updates on your business page. But there's something else you can do as well. Is There's a little box here called Feed. If you clicked that, I'll just show you what you would see. You see this page. Now, don't be frightened by all the code and gobbledygook. Is there's an address here at the very, very top of your page, and it says view source, and then a regular address like https slash www.facebook Facebook, sorry, dot com feed page and a whole load of code. So all you would do is copy this long line here. Now, and then what you would do is you want lots of people to hear about your Facebook page. And here is a way that you can pass a message on about your page is you can go to this sign called Pingoat. And with Pingoat, they would send the updates of your page to 50 different services. So what you would do here is it says blog name. So in your case, you would actually give the name of your, of your um, Facebook page and blog URL. You can put your Facebook page there and then what you will do here is obviously you know your business, you know what is relevant. So you would check the, the sites that are relevant for your particular business. You would tick these boxes. So they're general ones. Then you've non-English services. Now you might choose not to use them or if remember with Facebook, on Facebook business pages, they have a translation service. So you might still use um, decide to use it, keeping that in mind. And then here is special services that would be more specialized. So after you've done all that, you would just click the Go Pingoat. And what that would mean is when you update your Facebook business page, that these services will be informed what is happening on your business page to help you spread the word about your business. So this is Rosemary with a Facebook business page tip and all the best and take care. Bye.